Hey everybody, welcome back to the UFD Tech Channel. In today's video, we just wanted to cover something that's kind of important in today's climate with everything that's going on with the coronavirus. And we know that we're going to get demonetized by YouTube for this video because we're saying coronavirus, but we thought it was important enough to say it anyways, because there's a venture going on by Folding at Home right now to help fight the coronavirus by simulating how the protein actually works within the coronavirus and trying to find how to actually get a cure for it. So today is going to be a step-by-step -step guide to how to set up your PC so you can help join the fight against the coronavirus using Folding at Home. And in case you're not familiar with Folding at Home, it's actually one of the world's most preeminent boinks, which is Berkeley's open infrastructure for network computing. Basically, they take work that they need done, they send it out to their network, and then people with computers like you or I are able to use our PCs in order to help do the work that they need done. One of the big ones that's been around for a long time, SETI at Home, which used it for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. It shut down within the last month, which is kind of sad because I used to do it all the time. And I've dabbled here and there with folding at home. And it was primarily made so that it could help fight neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's and Huntington's. And you can still do that right now, but they've also started the effort to fight the coronavirus and understand how the protein folding works there. And in fact, the director of Folding at Home now has a visual representation of the protein in the coronavirus. And you can check it out over on his Twitter page. So that's basically the gist of it. You use your computer's power to help process data that universities and other research organizations need help with because they have more data than they have processing power. And thankfully, because of the call of the internet, there's usually more people trying to process the coronavirus data than there is available. So you actually have to wait a little bit in order to do it, which is a good problem to have at this current moment. But let me go ahead, without further ado, show you how to set up Folding at Home at Home so that you can help us fight the coronavirus. So you go to the website foldingathome.org and you click on start folding now and they have several different clients. You have Mac OS, you have Windows, you have Android, and you have Linux. You can go to the, the download section and for the PC that I'm using right now, we're just going to go ahead and download the installer. And I installed this on all of the PCs in our office today and it took me less than five minutes in totality, not just per PC. So we just go ahead and hit next through everything. You can do an express install. You don't need to do more than that. It's going to install and you're going to be able to get going quite fast after going to the download page. So start folding at home, click finish, make sure that it can access your network so that it can connect to the internet to get the work that it needs to do so that it actually can start process everything. So you can do it anonymously where you don't necessarily have or name or anything, but typically you want to set up an identity. The reason you might want to use an identity is because Folding at Home ascribes points to every single person who's doing it. And there's actually a leaderboard of all of the teams that are currently the best teams for Folding at Home. And we have a team here at UFD Tech, and I'm asking that if you're watching this video, would you consider joining our team so that we can crack the top 100 teams that are currently processing for Folding at Home? That would be a big accomplishment for us, I think, if we could get to the top 100. And if you set up your identity with Folding at Home, you actually get more points towards that. You don't get any prize. It's just kind of glory rights for helping science. So I already have an identity set up. I'm going to put that in. I have my name. I have my team number, which is 244613. And then the pass key. This is what you want to create. It's not a pass key to get into the team ID. This is a pass key so that you're actually able to register everything to yourself because it allows you to set everything up based on a username. You could just use your username and be anonymous, but you could also choose a username and have a unique pass key, which allows you to register all of your PCs to yourself so that you get the maximum credit for all of the work that you're doing. Considering I currently have one, two, three, four, five computers currently running it, and I'm gonna get a sixth one set up, I wanna have all of those registered to me, so I have a unique pass key that I input here. So the pass key is nothing private or anything like that. It's just a self-identifier for you. You can get it easily by setting up your name and email address with Folding at Home. And with that being done, I'm ready to go. I'm folding lightly right now while I'm working. You can set it to only fold when you're idle and it's easy to use within this web client browser. So this is going on in Google Chrome, but it has a more interesting look that you can take. If you go down to this section right here, you right click on the Folding at Home, you can get some advanced controls as well as a protein viewer. 
However, because there's a huge backlog with everybody that's trying to use folding at home right now, some of their servers are a little clogged up as far as getting you a pass key and as far as like getting you the protein to demo here. And all of my demos don't show this protein. Reese's does on his MacBook, but mine doesn't. But that's it's just a cool visualization of what you're actually working on. So over here, you see we have the CPU and the GPU in my PC that we can actually use. We're currently on light power. We can set it to full power and we can set it to fold. So everything is currently running. It's trying to get the work IDs to actually run and be good for it. But the main thing that you want to make sure is that you have this. I support research fighting for any disease because currently they don't have a drop down for the coronavirus, but you can set it to Alzheimer's, cancer, Huntington's, Parkinson's, or any disease. If you set it to any disease, you potentially get a coronavirus work unit so that you can process that. And that's it, it's, we're done. You have it set up. I'm currently fighting the coronavirus with my laptop right here and with four other computers that are currently in the office. Reese, can you bring yours over here? And you can even see that Reese has his MacBook Air joining in on the fight, helping to contribute for that. And you might be asking yourself, how does protein folding, simulated protein folding, actually help fight the coronavirus? To which, thankfully, Folding at Home has provided a pretty good answer to on their website. So Folding at Home says that their specialty is in using computer simulations to understand the protein's moving parts. Watching how the atoms in a protein move relative to one another is important because it captures valuable information that is inaccessible by other means. Taking the experimental structures as starting points, we can simulate how all the atoms in the protein move, effectively filling in the rest of the game that experiments miss. So they're able to find out new therapeutic opportunities, how the virus will interact with certain treatments that would happen in the field by simulating them with computers. And you would be actively contributing to that fight by using your computer's resources to simulate the protein folding, or as it is right now, fighting against COVID-19. So that's it, you're set up, you're good to go. It's very simple on all platforms to get Folding at Home set up. And if you need some help, we'll leave all of the links in the video description for you to check out. Linus Tech Tips Forum has a very good emergency response uh, breakdown of very frequently asked troubleshooting questions. You can head on over there. And in case you don't wanna join our team for Folding at Home, Linus Tech Tips Forum is having an emergency competition that's happening starting March 27th and ending April 10th to contribute all of your competing horsepower or PC horsepower. They'll have a ton of prizes as you can see on the screen right now, random Steam keys for you to be able to get Steam gift cards that will potentially be able to win because you're contributing to them. So you can consider doing that or you can consider joining our team. We don't have any prizes currently. It would just be for the glory rights of cracking the top 100 uh, folding at home teams out there because we have enough resources as a UFD tech community that we'd be able to do it. I think even as I'm sitting here with the PCs that we have in this office, we might be able to crack top 100 with just me. So your contribution is tremendously valuable to getting us higher up the ranks and becoming one of the top contributors for Folding at Home and making sure that we can kick this virus's butt and make sure that we can have a treatment even quicker than we could otherwise thanks to the distributed supercomputing network that is Folding at Home. So if you'd like to be part of one of the biggest efforts to fight against coronavirus while you're sitting in your own home as a gamer, you can check out the links in the video description as I mentioned. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you want to support us because we're not going to make any money off of this video since YouTube's demonetizing it, you can check us all the links out to buy like our own t-shirts or support us over on Patreon in the description as well. So check those out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.